friends, it's Anna Komenda here, marketing manager at Mintai Papers, and I have another uh, detailed video of our new collections. This time I will show you coastal memories. Um, and I will start with uh, papers and then I will move to uh, other embellishments. So I will make a room for the papers. And as with any other uh, collection, we have uh, six 12 by 12 papers. They are double sided, so you have 12 different patterns. You can purchase them separately or you can purchase them in the kit set and uh, you will get two of each paper which gives you 12 double-sided papers plus this bonus cover and here is just the overview of the collection but on the other side you have uh, plenty of little elements for a fussy cutting so you can make yourself your own die cuts if you would like to have more of those for fussy cutting because you really enjoy <laughs> fussy cutting you can purchase this paper this is paper number nine it's not included into the uh, paper kit you will need to purchase it separately and it has exactly the same elements on one side plus a soft pattern on the other side it kind of remind me of a sandstone um, so this is how this paper looks and we have a uh, paper number one from this collection which is a beach sink and the colors of uh, this collection are very fresh but also very light um, there is a lot of beiges a lot of whites a lot of uh, kind of a teal a blue sky so it will be perfect for any tropical holidays uh, pictures and we have like a beach house we have some uh, sancher and umbrella and uh, you know all the things you will have with yourself when you are on the beach plus there are some smaller elements here and there and with this scene I have my <laughs> uh, random pictures to show you they are about three by four in size how you can arrange this layout so there is an empty space here so you can place your photo here and uh, create a title here and make a very very quick page you can place your pictures here and add a title here you can place one bigger picture here one bigger picture here you can place a lot of smaller pictures uh, in this kind of area and in this area and you can also create like three here three square here uh, you can cut this into pieces so you can um cut out this element you can cut out this element arrange it by yourself and i really like making my own scenes using elements from existing scenes because using this layout with only pictures and title feels like too easy <laughs> job for me uh, i'm not making layouts for um documenting purposes i'm making them for fun and the creative process itself so i prefer projects with more things to do but if you like to make quick simple pages this paper is just perfect and beside of this paper is just a set of a beige and a coral color uh, seashells like a very generic a soft background for uh, your compositions and here is another paper with a scene and once again you can reach for your pictures add them here one bigger two smaller maybe three smaller you can arrange your pictures one two three four and cover the umbrella if you want more and you will have this pier uh, as a focal uh, element you can fussy cut the person from the photo and put it in here so it will look like um, it's walking through the pier um, so those are my basic ideas on how you can use this scene of course you can cut it into pieces so if you would cut out this piece for a card base it will look amazing if you will cut out this piece for a card base like a DL size or um, like I don't know what size it would be uh, four and a quarter by five and a half I would say so this would be really great uh, part of the card 
and beside is the soft stripes of paper it reminds me of a beach towel or maybe a pattern on on the beach chairs and another seam paper and again <laughs> There is an empty space for pictures here. I know I usually have two pictures. I just have two of them, those in my hand, but you can use the row of square pictures. For me, I don't like people on the design. So I would use these pictures to cover the lady in the picture. Um, and they would be just perfect placement for me. And the title here, this is the light colored area. So the title will stand out perfectly. But again, I like to cut out elements from my uh, scenes and build my own scenes. So I would probably use this element and umbrella and uh, all of those. You can cut it out like this by the beach. And I would add it to the different paper. There is a paper in this collection where there is only a beach like this paper. So you, can, you could arrange it, ar <laughs> arrange it uh like half by half and leave the bottom part empty um so yeah there are many possibilities and this is the back side of this paper it has a lot of uh starfishes another scene paper which is uh, a little bit unusual for minty collections because we usually have three scenes but in this case, there were so many beautiful scenes uh, and they was they were so hard to choose from, only three. So Carola decided to add more of those. And here you have like a sun deck with a view and you can create like a big picture here, I would say. Uh, something like on the picture that you took from the window of your uh, hotel uh, during the vacation or it can be even bigger picture. And then you will have this as a uh, <laughs> focal point. So view here and view here, it will be just perfect. And again, this is the area you can cover. You can only add picture here. You can add picture here and here. You don't have to have everything visible. It will still make this beach feel. So do not worry to cover like half of the sailboat because it will be still easily recognizable as a sailboat so do not worry to work this way and uh, beside is this kind of a wave 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 weaving pattern uh very soft and perfect for the backgrounds papers i love the most looks like this <laughs> usually and we have paper number five. Uh, it's usually like a floral pattern. And in this case, we have florals, but also we have seashells, uh, starfish, and all of this on the soft teal background, plus those uh, steering wheels. And the B side of this paper is just a blank page. So you can uh, create your own scene using this paper. You can add people fussy cut it from the picture only the picture silhouettes you can build a scene like a um, palm trees because there are palm trees in this collection see it is here you can fussy cut those from paper number nine so you can build palm trees you can add beach house if you want to beach chairs you can add a, a, a boat here so there are plenty of elements you can play with and create your own kind of splendid view and paper number six uh, with three by four uh, cards and they are just uh, ready to go scenes and you can use them as uh, dividers in your album you can even create a tiny little album in the size of these pages and add them as an embellishment and on the other side, oh, what I like to do with those is use them for a source for fussy cutting elements sometimes. If I'm running out of elements in ephemera pieces or in the paper for number nine, I just like to go here and check maybe there is something I would like. Sometimes they have different size, which is good because, you know, sometimes you need this element, but a little bit smaller or a little bit bigger. So this is also a good source for those. And the B-side are just the samples of the patterns and you can use them as a photomats 
uh, if the picture would be smaller I could use it as a photo mat so I sometimes cut this part into pieces and use those elements as a photo map in the album that I don't have picture uh, for so those were the 12 by 12 papers from this uh, collection and we also have more papers uh, we have six by six paper pad, 24 double-sided papers, uh, four of six designs and front and back have those elements for fussy cutting. And uh, usually those are the shrink versions of 12 by 12 papers. Let me check if it's the case here. Yeah, so those three scenes, this one too this two yeah so those are a downsized version of those uh, papers and you have uh, four of each design uh, you can also use this one it's a six by eight add-on paper pack and in this add-on paper pack we have patterns we have elements for fussy cutting eight different double-sided designs a three of each so 24 the quality of the paper is exactly the same as with those papers uh, we print them all on the same paper and you have this design and this design only once it's just to you know <laughs> save uh, some empty space from wasting and this is paper number one with a b-side it looks like a straw basket we have a sea sand uh, teal uh, weathered wood more fabric like uh, we have the weathered wood with kind of a net on top of it more sort of a sand and we have like a weathered wood but there are barnacles on top of it uh, it's it's a really really cool paper uh, beach uh, scene uh, we have another beach scene this looks like a sunset in colors uh, more water and here we have elements for fussy cutting and usually those elements are different than in fussy cutting sheet or in ephemera pack so this is something extra something that uh, not all the elements you can find in other uh, products and more like a neutral uh, organic patterns and this one with seashells flowers and clusters and the back side is another wood and here we go again two more times and the product <laughs> that is new into this collection that will work great with six by eight add-on paper pack is this uh, album base it's six by eight album base it has eight different sheets uh, inside and we have seven rectangles in a six by eight size so you can just take the page from here glue it here and it will fit so very fast and easy embellishing of the pages and we have this page and it has this rectangular element here that is a spine for the album so we just cut it out and you can combine the pages uh, if you would like to make a horizontal album if you would like to make a vertical album you can use the spine but it will be shorter so some of the pages here will be visible or you can make yourself a spine from a different um, piece of cardboard but you also get this uh, element, um, it's a reef, you can use it for decoration of your album. Um, and here are four words, beach, vacation, memory, seaside. And those words can be uh, used both in the album, in the cover of the album or uh, on any other uh, project. So this is how the album uh, base looks. Uh, we have die cuts there are 60 die cuts here and here is the preview of what's inside and i will show you all of them right now so we have steering wheel cluster of uh, seashells uh, flowers basket 
seashells, coconut, uh, starfish, another wheel and another wheel. They are in different sizes for different projects. We have a surfboard, a sailboat, more uh, more uh, seashells. We have this super uh, fun palm tree and this one can be used for building the scene on the paper where I showed you empty beach. We have a beach tower a bottle for your message flower another palm tree so you have two of those picnic basket another picnic basket more seashells cluster of elements a bigger serve boards um we have um ah oh, okay <laughs> the word just flew away from my head and we have those saving saving ring i don't know how it's called more seashells and more and more because it's a sea inspired collection so it needs a lot of seashells uh, we have some birds bottle more of the steering wheel another coconut more seashells we have a sailboat another bird there are also circular elements and I think those are pearls. Yeah, I think those are pearls. We have a table with a chair and see how intricate this element is. It looks amazing. And we have a bottle, more seashells, pearls and more seashells and another flower. So. That's it when it comes to uh, embellishment pack. Okay, like, let me clean this from the desk and make room for, uh, for uh, another element. put it aside and now it's time for paper elements there are 27 of them inside and we have we have they are uh, double-sided uh, well not exactly double-sided because uh, each each of those has exactly the same other side, but it's not white. It has some pattern. So, if it's uh, see or it, if it's seen uh, from both sides, there is something on the other side. So it's not white. We have tags. We have circle, more tags, more tags, and as you can see, they do not have the whole cut it out. So you need to cut. Uh, the whole by yourself we have six tickets and three have a beige uh, outline and three have like a mint outline bigger circles the last ticket the smaller tag and two smaller circles and uh, we have envelopes in different sizes so one envelope is like this the second one is like this seashell oh do we have another circle here this one and this one so those are the patterns on the envelopes and they have um, printed lines when you need to pre-score them uh, and you need to fold them and add a drop of glue to glue them together and you have uh, different sizes and shape this is almost like a square one this is also like a square one and the size of the envelope after putting everything together will be like this and we have a bigger ones one has this fancy finish so those are the paper elements and I will clean them up and I will be back with the final products.
so many goodies and i really really love those colors those are my colors for sure and back to the <laughs> back to the package you can even use this element like this one if you use up all the uh, all the paper elements you can use this up too and the last product i want to show is another uh, new product those are paper stickers and we have uh, well two actually three but two different products we have elements which is this sheet and you have all of you all of what you can see here there is no other side and they are cut out with an outline white a little frame around them and uh, for instance this one it also has cut out those middle parts so you will have quite an intricate design the same is with this one you will also have this element cut it out and those two small elements so they are really sturdy great quality stickers and they have like this i would say satin finish they are not glossy for sure they are sort of a matte finish a little bit or I would call it a satin finish maybe and we have the words and we have the words uh, bigger ones like those and bigger ones uh, written in a different font and we have uh, strips with words and those are cut out around with a little bit of white outline um, so they look really really cool like this word today see is cut it out like this uh, so we have the word day and all the others are cut it out exactly uh, the same I will put it back and the same is with this font and here we have just the strips of uh, of words and some of them are generic that you can use all year round some of them are totally <laughs> for a uh, beach collection some are for summer like seaside ahoy it's a beach one but let's have a great vacation got good vibrations lazy days of summer sunny day so those you can use with any summer collection but love um, having fun uh, what a wonderful world inspiring time those are the ones that you can use all year round with any other collection so uh, those words come also in polish for our polish customers uh, so we have exactly the same uh, uh, layout so we have bigger words in one font bigger words in a second font and we have uh, words uh, strips and again they they are sort of um uh, similar but they are not the direct translation because sometimes you just cannot uh, translate like i need vitamin c it doesn't translate well in polish so you will need to find something different uh, so we have a polish and english version of those stickers and that's it for the coastal memories collection i will be back with another one so see you soon bye